Does anything get fans more energized than a high-profile in-state recruit coming to play for his flagship university? Well, that's exactly what Kentucky fans are so excited about freshman Reed Shepard this season. Not only is he the local kid Wildcat fans are hyped for, but he's a legacy of his parents, Stacy Reed Shepard and Jeff Shepard, both Kentucky Wildcat basketball stars. Easy to say Reed Shepard bleeds Royal Kentucky Blue. But what role will the local sensation play in this loaded Kentucky team? Hi, I'm David from Hoop Southbound, bringing you another installment of our Freshman 15 series. Today, we're taking a look at Kentucky's combo guard, Reed Shepard. Cue the intro music and let's get into it. Simmons explodes to the goal. John Wall hits hyperspeed. Anthony Black with the flush. According to 24-7 Sports, Reed Shepard is a four-star prospect. He ranks as the number 75 player nationally, the number 12 combo guard in the class, and the number one prospect from the state of Kentucky. Adam Finkelstein writes, Shepard is a throwback style guard who is skilled and exceptionally sound fundamentally. He is a solid athlete, but not dynamic or totally explosive. His attack is based on his ability to shoot the ball, make sound decisions, and process the game. Finkelstein also notes Shepard's high compact release the ball in shot and praises his free throw shooting ability, which was over 90% in major circuits. On threes, Jamie Shaw says, Shepard is a confident player who can shoot and pass. He has good court vision and can make things happen for others in transition. But much like Finkelstein, Shaw highlights Shepard's lack of athleticism as a concern, but does say Shepard is a good straight line and vertical athlete. Physically, Shepard measures out at 6'3 and 170 pounds. He plays with a low center of gravity and controls the space around him. On offense, Shepard has a game very similar to his father, which stems from his outstanding shooting technique and his strong legs. Shepard is light out shooting and has a quick release to go along with it. He doesn't have a ton of bounce, however. A player that Jerry Meyer pointed out that comes to mind when comparing Shepard is NBA player Joe Harris. Both are strong athletes and marksman shooters. He's also capable of scoring at all three levels on the floor. However, Shepard is also an excellent playmaker, taking his game a step forward. He poses excellent court vision, and additionally, Shepard is a crafty attacker on offense, going to his left or right, and has solid ball control. On the defensive end of the ball, Shepard is seen as a player who does not overcomplicate things for himself. He gives maximum effort, completing every play coming his way and uses a ton of his basketball IQ to defend. At the McDonald's All-American game, Shepard logged four points, four rebounds, three assists, and two steals. When he traveled up north to Global Jam, Shepard got his chance to start against Team Canada, where he made the most of it. Shepard logged 14 points, went five from eight from the field, had two three-point field goals, two rebounds, four assists, and led the Cavs with four steals and blocked two shots. He finished the game plus 13 in the plus minus. Right now, Reed Shepard is seen by NBA Draft Room as a possible draft pick in the 2024 draft, but they also say it's a possibility he may return for another year of college. So questions for Reed Shepard coming into this season. In a class that's loaded with great talent like Dillingham, Wagner, Justin Edwards, how much playing time will Shepard see for Kentucky? Well, obviously getting into the game may be a difficult affair because of the talent around him. Now, Shepard proved he's an asset for the Wildcats while at Global Jam and was favored at times over other guards. But here's why I think Reed Shepard will be a starter or a high rotation player for Kentucky. The shooting ability is solid. And as several commentators have pointed out, while Kentucky is a deeply talented team, there's concern around Kentucky's floor spacing. With an electric shooting ability, Reed Shepard should add some additional floor spacing for the Cats and for others to drive and loosen up the front court. The second question we want to ask is what kind of impact Shepard will have for Kentucky and Cal this year? Well, with the way Kentucky is shaped, I'm going to be honest, there's an opportunity for Shepard to be a star for the Wildcats. And with his IQ, ball control, and ability to score at all three levels, with defenses focusing on guys like DJ Wagner, Justin Edwards, and Antonio Reeves, it, it wouldn't shock me if Shepard takes advantage and has a couple of huge nights this season. We're talking double digits, five assists. That, that's not a prediction, but with the opportunities that exist, the possibility is not off the table for him to have some big, big nights. And finally, is Shepard being less athletic than his fellow Kentucky guards going to be a concern? For me, not as much as you'd think. Well, yes, there's a gap that exists, as we saw in Global Jam. 
Shepard gives a ton of effort on the floor and will find ways that he can contribute in almost any situation he's put in. Further, this is where his ability as a playmaker comes in, allowing the other athletes on the floor to excel. We've seen plenty from Reed Shepard this offseason to get a feel for how exciting he's going to be in Lexington, and I'm excited to see how Cal uses him this year. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like these types of scouting report videos or just SEC basketball talk in general, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We've got several more previews for SEC freshmen to go. Our next video will be our final Kentucky Wildcat, DJ Wagner. Also, be sure to check out the show every Tuesday. We'll be talking the biggest headlines and games in the SEC every week. Until next time, thanks for watching.